For the loyalists who come to British North America in 1783, they have a great psychological problem. They've just been kicked out of the United States. The first thing they had to grasp onto to justify their existence as a separate entity now was slavery. Even though they were slaveholders, even though colonies like Nova Scotia began as slaveholding colonies, for crying out loud. You know, it's a typical story that's unfold. The victims of white supremacist violence you know, are re-victimized again. So freedom is, is a complicated issue. They were free from slavery, many, not all, of these no, early Nova Scotian blacks, but they were not free from such horrendous oppression that it could frequently lead to death. And so were they free? Well, tell me.